So before we start guys, Ledger Nano S, 30% sale on hardware wallets. It is simple, secure, customizable, free shipping, don't miss on the limited sale of 30%, link down in the description. Hello guys and welcome back to Truth with your host Mark Luther. In today's video we are doing another cryptocurrency video and today we're going to talk about is XRP going to overtake Bitcoin soon? Okay, the harsh truth about BTC and XRP to overtake them and is XRP the new king? Now, before I start this video, uh, Merry Christmas to all of you guys, okay? Hopefully you're having really great holidays and all that stuff. But also, I want, you know, to give you two disclaimers that I'm not financial advisors and I'm invested in both of these cryptocurrencies. So, any opinions coming out will affect me as well. So, just wanted to let you know that, despite whatever will, will happen, you know, in the cryptocurrency world. Anyways, now, is XRP going to overtake Bitcoin? Now, before we answer yes or no, we need to look at the facts in it, because the facts never change. XRP could trigger the bull run of 2019 and overtake Bitcoin, and this was like posted like one week ago, okay? And here it talks about the Ripple's partnerships, okay? The you know the CZ and the Ripple base, uh, you know, putting it as a base uh, pair, and you have XRP sprinting, okay, with Coinbase. It's among the 30 asset list. Everything's just positive positive as you can see sending XRP all over the world Everything positive, but There's something about XRP that is going to affect it and its major banks and financial institutions You see every time XRP has pumped. Okay, the thing about XRP is that everything every time it pumped actually Okay, it was due to a partnership some of the partnerships. Okay, it was not really a partnership It was like a coinbase listing and you, then you will see it like pump to a dollar or something like there was really huge movements okay in the market and XRP okay with these you know big institutions and financial you know banks anyways like the Israelis GMT AK Bank MoneyGram American Express CBI CIBC Earthport the problem with all these banks that they're not going to adopt crypto this cryptocurrency overnight anyone below the IQ of 4 Okay, knows that if you buy a cryptocurrency right here, okay, and get it right here is a loss. And banks, they're really hesitant in to invest in such cryptocurrencies, especially when they want to use it on a global scale. Now, yes, they are going to use them. Yes, they are going, you know, to use them everywhere and send them and withdraw them and all that stuff. But the fact is that does not mean that it is stable and they will, they will not put all their money into it. You should know that, okay, if they put all their money into it, the market could, you know, could have a bull run within minutes, okay, and it could destroy the whole market, another, you know, bubble. So, don't think that all XRP, okay, all the supply is going to be traded on banks, no, it's going to be a limited supply for each bank, they're not going to risk it. Another thing about banks is that in stock market recessions, okay, it, co like, it is linked with the bank, if anything happens to these banks, Okay, it could affect XRP on the long term. You could see like a 20% drop okay, on XRP because of these partnerships okay, going you know, in the mist. You're not going to see them anymore. Okay, and I highly suggest you watch Wolfpack Cryptos. Okay, uh, one of the people on the channel called Dave DaveTechCA. He's one of the long-term viewers of my channel and he suggested me to watch this, you know, this hidden gem of YouTube. I suggest you go subscribe to him with the notification bell because this guy... Okay, he has, he has some really good information, okay, opposed to the whole other market, you know, the other side. Or you can just read, like, typical articles from these, you know, how are banks affected by stock market if you don't know anything about that. But really, when XRP is depending on banks, the very first enemy that, you know, Bitcoin is trying to destroy, okay, you are going to see that it is does not make any sense. The next thing I want to say... Uh, to say and this is really more important than banks okay forget banks let's say banks okay they're they're the good guys okay but why you know bitcoin is you know the first place it's because it's completely decentralized with xrp it it has some part of centralization okay you have banks on its our on its side you have also the total supply okay you have like two-thirds of xrp Okay, the total supply supply is with Ripple Inc. So it's not really with the hands of the market. And even if it's with all with the hands of the market, there will be problems and you know all that stuff. But most importantly, okay, 
why do you see retail investors, miners, okay, people, um, who also, the whales, sorrows, Rockefellers, okay, uh, the, you know, uh, the, what are they called, the Rothschilds, the governments, why do they buy Bitcoin, okay, why do they want to destroy Bitcoin, okay, some of them, okay, not all of them, because Bitcoin, okay, the only way to destroy it is to buy it all and sell it all and just dump the market. Okay, they they are talking tens of millions and billions, people. They're not talking like $100,000 investment. Okay, they're not talking retirement. They're talking about destroying Bitcoin. XRP could really be destroyed in a thousand different ways. Okay, like, for example, and this is just an example. It doesn't have to do anything with XRP. XRP. Okay, if we go here on the 26th of um, June 2017, fake news of a fatal car crash wiped out $4 billion in Ethereum's market value yesterday. So, basically, this article, okay, you don't need to read it all. Okay, basically on 4chan, another website which has most, you know, chatting and all that stuff. Okay, they said that Vitalik Buterin, okay, has died, okay, in a car crash. And then $4 billion have been pulled out of Ethereum. And as you can see, according to this chart, look how much Ethereum has dropped. You see, and that's scary, okay? It's not really interesting fact to know that, you know, and at the time, okay, $4 billion was a bit significant, okay, in 2017. That's before or, uh, the whole bull bull market, you know, the, the crazy stuff. The thing is, if anything, okay, if a partnership with one of the banks... If the CEO, if the development team, if you don't know, it's it's unpredictable. Human error can destroy the coin and wipe it off the market completely. Okay, and one of the you know the evidences that these things might happen. Okay, if we go on the historical snapshots, for example, and we go on, uh, let's see, 2015, 15th of February, for example, the market back then was different. Okay, there were different players, and even then, you know, XRP was the second, okay, player, okay, in the space. But Ethereum, okay, was, like, down there, okay, in 2015. And then it came and took over that place. You don't know, okay, what might happen to the market as a whole. You don't know what human error can make XRP go back all the way to the 50th place. What partnerships, I'm just, you know, guys, I'm just warning you guys that this is not a game, okay, XRP, if it is going to overtake Bitcoin, there must be a huge amount of trust, okay, that it is going, you know, to be, like, unexplainable, okay. The reason why these big players, okay, the, like the big banks and all these stuff, the reason why they invest in Bitcoin, because they know 100%, okay, that one Bitcoin is one Bitcoin tomorrow. There is no difference. They're not comparing it to the dollar value like we do, because we... Okay, we pay bills and we do all that stuff because we are citizens. They have trillions of dollars at their hand. The only thing they want to do is just to remove the very first cryptocurrency, which is called Bitcoin. So, you need to understand that XRP, okay, um, it is centralized or partially centralized or whatever you want to believe. And any human error and anything happened to the bank partnerships they are partnered with, which is 100% going to happen. Once the stock market recession going to come, okay, the stock market crash, the global, you know, you know, cl crash, okay, you're going to have problems. Once that happens, expect 100% that, you know, XRP is going to be nearly wiped out, you know, because these partnerships, they're not, you know, they're not sustainable. I don't believe these partnerships are going, you know, to work really, you know, 100%. A lot of people might say, but these partnerships are going to work. They're doing that stuff. Yes, they're doing it, but the bank is going to get affected. The amount of XRP they have is going to get affected. They might sell some of the supply. They might not use it anymore. You just don't know, okay? And this is m just my warning to everyone. Okay, I'm invested in, the in XRP. Okay, I have a small percentage of XRP, but I don't trust it to that level, to that 100% level, you know, to invest everything with XRP, to drop everything okay all the guns all you know all the resources everything i mined okay uh, from cryptocurrencies and just drop into xrp because that is suicide okay that is a huge risk opposed to other cryptocurrencies okay that you know have value but are not tied 
to such, you know, such volatile, you know, banks and all that stuff. I just don't trust the bank, okay? Uh, and basically, when you watch videos about, you know, the 2008, okay, uh, you know, recession, you can see how banks are affected. Thus, you know, this partnership is going to affect XRP. Now, of course, in the comments down below, okay, guys, also, uh, Merry Christmas again to everyone. If you are going to argue about XRP going, uh, you know, to go to the moon, all that stuff, yes, it is going to the moon, but I'm talking about the long term. If there's a stock market recession to get, you know, to wipe out everything, okay, to have, you know, a global crash, a bear market, okay, that bear market is going to affect XRP, the first cryptocurrency. Other cryptocurrencies are not tied to banks. So, thank you guys for watching and if you want to comment down below you can comment down below whatever you want let me hear your thoughts okay whether you are bullish on xrp and you want to invest all your resources and everything or you're just that guy you know that you know invest like a couple dollars in xrp and hope it, it will go to the moon or the guy that will never invest in xrp and go to the moon so thank you guys for watching see you guys on the next video